So your habits need to be habits people don't want to do. my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so as you guys can see I am not alone I'm sitting here with a pretty lady I am sitting here with your fave youtuber I'm sitting here with OG Parley in the flesh not a what, is up? what is up what is good hello to the BD babies hello to the <laughs> Parley babies Parley world is happening um, yeah guys, so we're here to bring you some informative, all-round content, mm -hmm. authentic, wholesome, because we're wholesome hunts. Listen. Hey Revolution Gang and hey Polly World. Some of you may remember that OJ Polly and I did a video a few months back where we compared schooling or university in South Africa versus in America. Now this video is a follow up to that video where we give pretty much school advice from the perspective of A students, one being in America, which is myself, and the other being in South Africa, which is OG Polly. If you haven't checked out our last video, oh my gosh, you are slacking and you should be embarrassed. Them, go check it out but in the meantime i hope you enjoyed this video please comment down below if you have any tips otherwise let's get started let's get started we interrupt this program to bring you a special report before we actually get into any questions let's go through the nitty gritty such as uh what year of study are you in what are you studying that kind of stuff okay so hi guys once again i love greeting a oh, lot so um i'm actually completing my third and final year studying a ba in strategic corporate communications and mandarin and i'm a student mandarin. at the university of johannesburg mm -hmm. mandarin yeah like the language yep oh my gosh listen Ooh. holly go in the building um yeah but this I think that's like, yeah, that's it for my degree. On my side, I am doing my fourth year in accounting and I'm also going to go on to do my MBA. So that's what we do in terms of school. And now let's get into what do you do outside of school? And the reason why I'm asking this is because I want you guys to get the full picture of what it is that we do and, oh. you know, so you can really understand yeah. what we do. What we're actually going so, through. So outside mm -hmm. of school, what do you do? So outside of school, um, once you subscribe, you'll understand how it all works. But um, I'm a content creator and this is not only on YouTube, it would be on uh, Instagram as well. But I am a retired influencer on Instagram. I have not actually publicly announced that, so you are first to hear that. Surprise, mother I also had a business on the side, which you probably could tour, which specialized in um, durags and lashes, but I have that on hold right now because priorities first, which is school in this context. Mm -hmm. On my end, um, so I'm a content creator with a focus on YouTube and Instagram. Okay. And apart from doing YouTube, obviously I'm a full-time student. And so international students are not allowed to have jobs off campus. So the jobs that I have are on campus. And oh. on campus, I'm a senior resident advisor. I manage Ooh. social media for um, one of the, the departments at my school. And what else? I was on the strategic planning committee of my school. Oh which is basically my degree that's basically what it is <laughs> right so it's basically planning what the next five years of my university will look like we make those kinds of decisions um i was also the president of the black students union i'm the president of omicron delta kappa which is an honor society i'm also Ooh, part of i mean, I mean <laughs> i'm also oh by the way joe biden is in that Ooh. That that honest society. Listen, guys, she sits on the table. She sits on the table with the big dogs. The president, you know, you know, the president. You know, you, you understand? You know. They make those big grown-up decisions, you know, not the play-play play decisions. What are we eating tonight? No, 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 no. More like, what are we investing in tonight? You understand? Where is this country going, honey? You know, honey. Um, I'm mm -hmm. also a part of. I think it's Tri Beta Delta and oh! Omicron Delta Epsilon. Yeah. I've heard of that. I have actually heard, like, genuinely, I've heard of that. So, like, this is. <laughs> Like, okay, girl, get it. She's the way I Google, so yeah. So those are two other honor societies. And then what else? I was also the treasurer for an organization called Rhythm Riders, which is a STEM oh. team. And I was Ooh. the historian. So I handle basically the social media for the international students. Um, what else do I do? Okay, yeah, so that's what basically, I do. Basically, she's school. our Mrs. President. That's exactly <laughs> who she is, okay? So like, if you vote BD for president, put it in the 
comments down below okay but um so that's what i was involved in at school and then outside of that i also work for a south african agency on commission where i basically help them with getting clients that's and i side. facilitate no this side, side in south oh, africa oh, okay. so yeah that's I, I feel like i'm forgetting something but from the top of my head that's pretty much everything that i do what general advice do you have for someone who wants to do well in school oh, yeah. you need to eliminate distractions listen to me carefully let me take my glasses off so you can hear me eliminate those distractions okay right so now it means they can't hear you because the glasses are open <laughs> Well, now one ear is attentive, but it's okay. I'm not gonna go out the other. But like, guys, yeah. listen, it's very important to like, you know, in order to be disciplined, you must understand that you can't, you cannot take everything with you, you know? Mm. Like they say, you can't take like all your friends yeah. into like your future, for example. You can't take all your past habits with you. You need to be able to, you know, like discern and decipher what was bad for me, what was good for me. And you need to be able to have the self-control, the motivation and discipline to say okay enough is enough yeah no and separate and start focusing and you must be able to you know live within your rules because that's called discipline by the way and also motivation can only get you so far discipline's a thing that's going to give you longevity like guaranteed like you know like success and results because i can tell you right now my morning starts at four every single day you know and if not four five o'clock and that'd be because i slept an hour late <laughs> but i tried to get seven hours of sleep wake up at four it's like something that i had to parrot i had to put it in my life because i knew what worked for me and what didn't you need to do what everyone's not doing yeah you need to be able to know that in order to be the best you need to outperform everyone so your habits need to be habits people don't want to do mm -hmm. if oh. you you know that no one does their readings and you get 12 readings you need to be that one person that prints all of them and does those readings attend every lecture you don't want to wake up well tough your competitors are waking up you know mm -hmm. and i realized especially like having worked already in corporate and also you that have that have, i'm sure you also like saw this thing of like hey guys i'm not the best out here there are other yeah, people that are also the yeah. best like you need to it's literally like survival of the fittest and you're not always going to be on top yeah, so you need yeah. to not prove yourself but you need to work hard one know? thing i say for myself number one give me your best or give me nothing at all i hold this standard yep. to be true for others and i hold the truth for myself you know there are times where literally i had a breast reduction guys i still posted my video i was depressed at the beginning of this year crying every single day my parents almost died i didn't skip a week it, no matter what is going on in my personal life if i skip a week guys just know i'm dying honestly just like i'm in the hospital and i'm dying but despite what's going on in my life it's about being disciplined and, and saying i'm going to do it and i'm going to persevere mm. because i say to myself give me your best or give yeah, me zero either you're you. going to give me your best or just sit down and don't do it at all and your best looks different at different times That's sometimes so my best is like Woo! but sometimes my best is guys i'm going to my class today I'm going to my lecture today. You know what I mean? So your best looks different at different times, but whatever your best is, give it your best. And it's about you guys. No one is going to do this thing for you. I Yo, promise you. No uh, one's going to force you. Nope. Even if they try to force you, it doesn't matter. But no one's going to force you. Nobody's going to do it for you. Mm -hmm. You had to move your friends out for yourself. Your parents you know, didn't give you a list and say, bro, here, these ones. Give them, like, cost them out. My parents tried, hey? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. You're not allowed to watch TV. No, 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 no. That didn't work. I still did bad until they stopped doing that and I wanted it for myself. That's the difference it made mm. for me to go from like probably like bottom to like top 5% to top 1% in like my course or my class or whatever. It really, it, it's an internal thing. Yes, my parents are educated and they were probably, they were, I, I'm sure every parent says, especially the black parents. They were number one. I was number one. I was yeah. number two. I was, no, I was never, never number two. Number, number one. Four. Yeah. I was everything above number four. If they said I was number two, but the other guy was doing it for the second time. So technically I was number one. Exactly. <laughs> like they like, I'm sure everyone's parents has that chat and it's like, you can't all be number one. Come now guys. <laughs> You know, but it doesn't matter if you're naturally smart. Everyone has to polish a few things, you yeah. know. The thing is, have your own standard. So, like she was saying, yeah, don't compare. Don't you know? compare, mm. but also, there are times where I, yo, guys, let me tell you one time when my heart was sore. Mm. Yo, my heart was so sore. Yo, just thinking about it now is hurting my feelings. I got 89%. 89%. And that's okay for me and to I feel like that. I was sick. Right. I was 
sick. I never really like I was feeling like this. Disgusted. Yo. Like I sat there and I was Bruh. like, is this you? Bruh. But I went through I went through my yeah. test, guys, and I went to my professor and I was like, uh-uh, check here, check here, remark, remark. And I got taken to 94. Because you know, you know what you just said right there, literally like it literally brought comfort. It eased my mind mm-hmm. because like I would cry, like snot cry, mm-hmm. you know. Because I didn't get this particular mark. It's literally my if my standard, if I studied and I worked hard for a hundred percent and I don't get that hundred percent, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna be hurt. Happy. Exactly. You know? And because like, I know my standard, I know where I operate, exactly. I understand that normally for exams I get nineties and I get eighty nine. I'm sick because that means I've dropped the standard. I'm not yeah, doing it as well. I literally standard. get so anxious, guys. I can't like, even like breathe. You know, I so eat, hey? Yo. like I feel physically it affects me. Like, Everything. I even but you know what? <laughs> even when I feel this way, I'm gonna still get a video out. And try. I'm still this. going to do my responsibility. So it's just about knowing how to manage your time. Definitely. Take everything that you do seriously. Give your best to everything. Yeah. And mind you, I enjoy my life. One thing about me, guys, I'm sure you've seen, I chop life. You must. I chop. am always enjoying the my same life. Way you chop onions. Balance. Exactly. Chop. Balance. Chop. You know. So just don't give all your time to academics all the time. It's don't depressing. Make sure you hear it from do us do that have things. done well. Like yeah. you absolutely cannot yeah. sacrifice yourself to school. You yeah. can't. School School's not everything, especially having worked in corporate and worked in many different environments. Mm-hmm. You get to learn that school's not everything. Yeah. There are people who didn't even do school yeah. who are doing far better than people that have their exactly. nose in the textbook. Exactly. You need to be able to balance real life and school life because exactly. school is not real life. Let me just make that clear right yeah. now. School can get you somewhere. It's just not going to get you everything. Also, make sure you develop yourself outside mm-hmm. of being a bookworm, a, bu- a bookworm, and a great as academic. A person, make yeah. sure you also develop yourself as a person. Make sure you know how. Jola- to Guys, date. <laughs> do these things. Get get mm. experience. Get yourself out there. Be, be a normal. Be a human be being. Normal. And also yeah. another thing that I want to say, and this is coming from someone who I do get good marks, thank God. But numbers do not define you. Even school yeah, it's numbers. Not everything. Even if you fail at school, guys, or let me say you pass through forties, you pass, my boy. Your the degree is yours. Mm. Numbers do not define you even good numbers when you get low marks you are not your low marks yeah. you are not a bad grade i am not a good grade i am not a high grade you know what i mean and so just remember that that your marks in school mm-hmm. do not define who you are and this one this is a tough piece of advice and it's not easy to give Ooh. but know who you are guys some of you yeah. will never be an a student yeah and hey, some of you will never hey. even if you try to fail you'll never fail it goes both ways and it's so messed up eh? like literally like there are some who people i've seen people who work way harder than me to school and they They just don't never get the grades guys and there's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing wrong with you your 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 talent and your your excellence does not have to lie in school some of you are just lazy and you need to step it up and work hard but there are some of you who you've done everything you can and the marks are not coming and that's fine because that means you have a talent elsewhere that means you have something you can do elsewhere but explore it don't just think yeah when there's a loss there's a gain somewhere exactly don't think because i suck at school now i'm going to be a failure at life well, now i suck exactly like it's finished like learn to work with yourself as per your strengths and as be patient per what you with yourself do. hey be patient Yo. and and explore guys so trust me i know everybody wants everybody to be an a student but there are genuinely people who can not do math you can have Yo. extra lessons Yo. you can everything me but it doesn't he's work. talking about me for me it's physics me physics like when they say you must envision the ball go up and grab it i, I can't see the ball like the me. ball goes up and doesn't come back <laughs> down numbers. i don't know where the ball is man i don't know just give me zero man because the ball never numbers. came back it was just never like mm-hmm. a thing like me and yeah. numbers weren't mixing it was like exactly. water and oil i went to the master maths <laughs> every week every i think it was three times a week master maths and master science every week mm-hmm. Those things average, are annoying because you go to ma- you go to master math and you do good on their computer things. Yeah, but then you do life. Ah, nothing. Never. That's just honest because we're not robots, as you can yeah, see. Yeah. We're also human, and we've definitely had our downfalls, especially in the academic space. And like this is just also, you know, yeah. it wasn't a, a speech of arrogance. It was a speech of motivation. Yeah. We need you to get to a place where you can be comfortable with your academics. 
and also you know toot your own horn give yourself yeah. credit you know nobody else will even if you get five percent more than what you got last semester do you know Dude, how much progress that is i'm telling you sure. if you move sure. from 40 to 50 from 50 to 60 even 45 Clap to 46 for celebrate small wins that we are is so that is you we are so hard on ourselves when we do badly yeah. like literally i got 89 and i wanted to puke but then i get 95 and i'm like Oh, cool. Celebrate small yeah. wins because there will be a time where those wins are not there. Or they don't even matter anymore. Or they don't know? matter. Because they so. can't satisfy human voids. Because exactly. school is not like. School is not, it's everything. not everything, guys. Exactly. So, it's been a very long talk about school. I hope this was very educational and helpful for those of you who wanted uh, to find out more. If you have any more questions, please comment down below. Please go follow Valissa on her Instagram. Please go subscribe to her channel because she has. Um, she literally will show you a day in her life and she has the best vlogs. So please go subscribe to her channel as well. That's it for today, guys. I hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos if you want to see palissa here again comment down below and i'll try and make it happen if you don't want to see her again if she scared you just just let me know still comment let me know guys tell me if you want me to go and visit her <laughs> peace and love guys